adversity is what defines you. I mean, that's part of the Bo Brisky story, right? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, I think that's, that's where you grow the most is when adversity hits. Another one, too. Struck him out. I love this young man and what I've seen. I love the way he competes. He's always composed. He knows what he's doing. That's what he's had to do learning here at the major league level. All right, I fell to the 27th round. I got to prove people wrong. Was that always the mindset for you? I have kind of had that chip on my shoulder even earlier than the draft with all of the guys that I've played against that have gone to bigger schools or gone to the draft prior to me. I always belonged on the same field as them. So it was, there was always a chip on my shoulder. Thought that I always was a little bit better than what people had thought. So uh, I, I knew that if I just continue to work, it would all work itself out. So we're gonna take it back. Was baseball always the thing? Baseball was the thing, but every sport was a thing. I was, I was always playing with something in the house. I broke a lot of things in the house because I was always playing. You could ask my mom about that. My dad was the kind of one, was kind of the one that led me in the baseball path because he played and he loves it. And he was always coaching. Uh, like he was he was always my coach when I was young. So he was very hard hard on me when I was young. But I think it definitely made me better. You were mostly a third baseman and an outfielder, right, until your senior year of high school? Is that when you began pitching? Yeah, because in my head, I thought I was still going to be a position player going into community college. I spent a lot more time in the cages and fielding ground balls, stuff like that, than I did working on any mechanics. or I just kind of went up there and pitched, but I think that's actually what made me better was that I wasn't thinking about it when I was doing it. I just was relying on my ability. I think that's really what kind of separated me and made me realize that I have a natural ability to pitch and that if I continue to work on it, I can be pretty good at it. We fast forward to 2019, the draft happens. You're waiting to hear your name called. You're probably thinking, will it even be called? Yeah, definitely. I was nervous that day. <clears throat> I was really nervous that day. I couldn't even eat. And yeah, as soon as I got drafted, it was like a sigh of relief. I was just like, oh man, I'm, this is, I, I can relax now. And then, uh, yeah, I went. Actually, the first thing I did was go to the gym and worked out. I was like, all right, back, back to business, back to what I'm supposed to be doing. Seriously? So you didn't even like rejoice with the family, cry a little, call people, you're like, I'm hitting the gym? Yeah, that was just, I don't know, that's just felt like the thing that I had to do. A one, two, three inning for Bo Brisky. Talk about a kid who has bounced back. When you're on the mound, you seem so poised, and even when things happen, like you're able to recover so quickly, and the mental part of this game is so huge. If you get down on yourself, if you allow yourself to kind of sink instead of continue to attack and um, stay poised out there, then they're going to beat you. They're going to, you know, they're, they're going to take advantage of that. So I just have fun with it because I know that I'm not as good as I will be and I'm not near as good as I want to be either. So I'm just, I just want to enjoy the process of continuing to build and get better as a player.